What's the difference between uh, someone that gets an investment and doesn't mm. get an investment? Yeah, you know, I don't know if we mentioned this online at all, but we raised $9 million last year. And I can tell you, by watching a lot of investments come through and a lot of investments not come through, yeah. um, I think an investor decides to invest or doesn't for two reasons. He or she doesn't believe you when you're saying what you're saying. The data you gave out, what if something's not believable, right? They just don't think it solves the problem that you think it solves or whatever that is. Number two, they don't understand you. And I actually think this is more common because when I'm talking to people and they, they're doing an investment pitch or something like that, or I'm at a pitch competition, it's like, I can't even understand what they're actually doing. They work so hard and they believe in this thing so much, but they've used too many words to explain it. I shoot for, if you can't tell me what your thing is in three words or less, you're using too many words. Mm -hmm. And if you're using too many words, people just can't hear all of that. Yep. It's too much information to take in and digest. And so I think that's probably the more common thing. People just, the investor doesn't understand the investment. Yeah.